What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be uh, taking a look at and I guess you could say installing the Greyman Tactical uh, Rigid Molly panel uh, that is trademarked by them. So the Greyman Tactical uh, seat back Molly panels. These go behind your seat and or anywhere you want to put them. But these specifically are going to be laid out and designed for the rear seats of my truck, the Colorado. Uh, a couple of the items that I have that I will be installing onto this are going to be this Blackhawk Tearaway uh, med pouch. I'll show you all this quick fist. It's a uh, three inch fire extinguisher like holder, but the fire extinguisher holder, I already have one on the other side. I already have one of them in my truck and then I'm going to set this one up for you all to see. Uh, I might put this on there just to hold something else or I don't know. I don't know, but this one might not be used off the top of my head. We'll see. And then I have two rifle clamps for the buffer tube and the uh, the rail. And then I have the straps top and bottom. And then on this side, I have the guts for the uh, Blackhawk kit, which I'll get into and show you all as well. Lots of tourniquets, lots of good stuff. Uh, this is the large, it's like the 15 and a quarter inch uh, Molly panel. I didn't know if I needed to go with this one or the smaller one considering I had a Colorado and this, the seat sizes are a little bit smaller than a full size truck but if I ever you know upgrade or you know get another vehicle that I want to put these in that has a bigger seat you know might as well want the larger panels and then seeing it on my seat already it doesn't look that bad I actually you can't even tell that it's not wrong size but I don't know it looks good so one of the things that is going to be installed is this uh, Black Hawk like Velcro tearaway mid kit pretty much and this thing uh, it, it's pretty cool you know I like that it has the red handle because it draws the correct attention to it and then I don't like it because it does draw attention to it but this is pretty simple this will attach to the panel and then all you have to do if you need medical supplies or anything like that is just say behind the passenger seat and you know I'll put a little you know cross on there or something hopefully this isn't doesn't need too much explaining there you go it's on here it's easy to just rip off if you need to it does have this clip up here if you want to run that maybe if you pull hard enough it mm, probably not you will have to unclip it but we will go over the contents of this in a minute. <sighs> I'm going to go grab my gun and we're going to see which way I want to orient it, uh, barrel up or down. And then uh, we're going to get to installing all of these little uh, clamps. This is my 10.3 inch, I guess you could call it, uh, Mark 18 SBR from Triarch Systems. Uh, I'm going to get the sling off because it's just going to be in the way for what we're doing here. So no, we are cleared. Uh, if y'all want a video on this bad boy right here, uh, drop a like and a comment down below. Let me know. Uh, I'll go through the uh, particulars on it. This thing is pretty sweet. But I think orientating it like this will do best. What do y'all think? I think this sort of gun barrel down blah 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 I think I think that's gonna do it so with these rifle rubber clamps you have two washers you have two uh, screws and then you simply put this little, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you would call this, but this fits inside the molly hole and you put it up underneath and then you screw this in from the top and it secures your clamps or whatever you're installing on here. There's a lot of different options on the website. You can install uh, like the QLS, um, like Safari Lane holster setups, G-code G -code holster setups, 
literally almost anything you want to gun related, like tactical, any of that stuff you want, uh, you can find on their website and you can attach it to this uh, panel. But I think, yeah, so we're gonna go small one. Now the question is, is do I want to rip from seated, do I want to rip away or do I want to rip towards me when it comes to the clamps? I think I'm gonna to do towards me. If I don't like it, we'll fix it. I'm gonna go from the bottom. So I'm gonna go from the bottom down here, a uh, second from the bottom. Now this gun isn't gonna be obviously in the truck the whole time. There are circumstances where you could be driving and you could have this thing around, but uh, these also do not lock. They have locking style clamps, Picatinny clamps. Uh, they, they have multiple options to lock your guns up. So if that's a uh, question or concern for you, uh, just check out their website. It will be linked down in the description. So I'm gonna put this, hold on, is this gonna fit all the way around? That's another question. Cause I do have a light on the end of this. Will this fit and clamp down? <sighs> nope, we're gonna have to go high. So we're going high with this. It's gonna go right there. This one's gonna go probably there. Just like that. And there you go. And it's gonna sit on the back of the seat just like that. So as of right now, we have the gun set up, this, and then I'm going to add a tourniquet holder real quick. All right, so I have this tourniquet here now next to the uh, Black Hawk Tearaway Med Pouch. Uh, I'm about to shove the contents of the pouch back in there. I'll explain uh, what's going in there too. And uh, I have this cat tourniquet here. Um, like I said, I have measured. I can reach this and I can reach this tourniquet um, if I uh, need be, right? So having, you know, tourniquets really accessible left and right hand in your vehicle, you know, something a lot of people don't think about, but you never know. So uh, I'm going to have one of my door to my left, this one behind me. This is easily accessible by anybody in the passenger seat and or in the rear. Uh, if I couldn't reach this with my right hand for whatever reason, I really can't get to it with my left. So, uh, that's there. This is the MFAC resupply kit. This is from North America Rescue. And it's pretty simple, or as they call it, basic. Can't get advanced unless you're qualified. Uh, this one comes with a, a cat tourniquet, black. I don't like the orange ones. Uh, that's just me. Cat tourniquet, North American Rescue, S-rolled gauze, four inch emergency trauma dressing, uh, a hyphen vent chest seal twin pack, you know, Twin pack, you know, if you have front, back, you know what I mean? Entrance, exit wounds, always get the twin pack. And then a bear claw, nitro gloves, large. So we're gonna shove the contents of this in here. I don't know how is the best way to stage all of it. Tomorrow I will be at a, what's it called? I will be at a shooting event. And I will actually ask somebody how they would or could or should stage their whatever, their medical supplies in here. So I'll get a semi-professional opinion probably tomorrow. And yes, you know, if you're thinking about it right now, there will be a tourniquet right next to the bag and then a tourniquet in the bag as well. You know, there could be a situation. So I yell at somebody, you know, go get the med the med kit, med pouch, it's on the back of the seat, in my truck, passenger seat, and they just go rip this off and they don't grab the tourniquet. I want another one inside of here, uh, just because, you never know. And if it's something that I can foresee happening that easily, then it's quite possible it can happen. And then, you know, this other side, there's not gonna be much in there. Uh, I do go to a lot of family events, uh, got a lot of nieces, nephews, cousins, all those, sorts of things. So I'm gonna add, you know, maybe some like Power Ranger, like superhero uh, band-aids and whatnot in here in case, you know, gotta apply one. You know what I'm saying? So, 
glad I now have some medical supplies in the truck. Both red tabbed, staged at the top. Sweet. Just like that, all that's left are the seat bottom, seat top. These are really self-explanatory. It's literally some one inch nylon strap and some buckles. Uh, it's gonna go around your seat, gonna go around your headrest. Have the straps on. Uh, we're gonna go head out to the truck and uh, I'm gonna give y'all the quick lowdown of what it looks like. Let's go. For my camera dice, I'm gonna show y'all what this looks like. Here is this side. We have the gun, tourniquet, and med pouch, like I said. And as I also said, it's not gonna be a lot of leg room back here. So I'm gonna keep the bottom relatively clear, you know, and if there's people back here, we're gonna scoot these seats up anyways. But here is what it looks like. And then here is what I was saying about the other side. I have this setup right here. Come on. This is a cold steel SRK. I'll go ahead and link that down below just because I can. And then there's the three inch fire extinguisher holder upper my bobber. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna stay on there or not. I might find a, a better use for it elsewhere. I actually have an idea of how I wanna use it, but I don't know. We'll just have to see. And you know, it's always good to have options. You know, that's kind of like uh, why I have this knife right here. I don't know, can you see it? Can you kind of see the handle? Um, as you can think, uh, it is set up to be able to grab just like that if I need to. And I haven't really thought about how I'm gonna put it back yet. Okay, goes back in, simply. But guys, Thank you for watching this video. This is the Gray Man Tactical Rigid Molly Panels. Uh, I have both of them. I have the large panels. Um, so far, so good. I like them. Definitely easier to pull these away from me rather than push them away, if that makes sense. I don't know. We'll see. But if I am traveling alone or anything, you know, I might scoot this seat up a lot more and or lean it more forward this is kind of how the girlfriend sits most of the time but i can access this actually more more quickly than i i bet i think i can like i i bet you i can get this out of there pretty quick and deploy it it's a rather it's a rather short gun it's 10.3 10 uh sort of mark 18 build from uh tri -Arcled sbr but uh yeah, that's gonna finish this video, guys. Uh, 10 Chevy is currently the 10% off coupon. So 10 Chevy. I'm trying to get it switched to French. I'm trying to get all of my discounts just to be French. I don't know. We'll just have to see. I'm gonna send them an email. But 10 Chevy gives you 10% off. Uh, I'm pretty sure everything on their website. So uh, if you are interested in the rigid Molly panels like I have now on both back seats, then uh, there you go. You know, I hope y'all kind of like the whole tabletop atmosphere. I don't like the black table that we have right now. I'm trying to find a wood one. Uh, that one's circular and shakes and it's kind of weird. Uh, go back and look, you'll be able to see it's like kind of off-centered from the video, but like getting the camera and the round table and the wall like centered was frustrating as all get out guys. But uh, I hope it worked, I hope it was all right. Uh, if you're watching this right now on Sunday, I will have finished up the uh, Triarch Systems training course put on by Jonas Polson. I may or may not be recording some stuff out there. I don't know yet. We'll just have to see. You know, some guys don't like people recording. Some guys do. I just, I don't know. So I might make some a video out of it. I might not. So in a week's time from when you're watching this, if there is a training video out, maybe like a cool edit or something from some B-roll, then uh, then it's out. But if not, then just know I got some good uh, rifle work in. This is a two-day rifle course. We're gonna shoot five, six, seven hundred rounds, something like that. And most pretty scarce right now, guys. And we're still gonna go off and rip some rounds, gonna learn. Uh, I'm pretty sure, was it, thir it was 13 or 15 years uh, Special Forces experience. So, gonna learn a lot. 
Uh, probably gonna run the 10.3. It's gonna it's gonna be fun. So uh, if y'all are interested in like tactical training uh, videos or anything like along that line, um, I've done them with a lot of different people. So mainly special forces. I haven't done any Navy SEAL classes yet. So two Lamb, Johnny Primo. This will be Jonas Polson. Um, Criterion Tactical. Yeah. So so far only Army guys. I'm gonna have to fix that. Uh, so if y'all know any uh, SEALs that do any training courses for civilians, uh, I think the next one I'm gonna do is probably gonna be a CQB class again. Uh, just to get the Navy side of CQB, but uh, yeah guys, that's the end of this video. I uh, look forward to more truck stuff coming soon uh, We're almost to eight weeks on the bed rack. That's what the wait time is so I'm excited bed rack will be in then a rooftop tent will be coming in and then bumpers will be coming in and I mean this is gonna be a built overland truck before we know it guys so y'all stay tuned uh, That's gonna be the end of it for me. Appreciate you watching 10 Chevy saves you on those ESP trucks under the back seat. If you want any sort of lockable storage for under your rear seat, uh, you can use code French 10% off of them. If you're looking for armor, Ace Link armor, guys, you get 10% off free shipping. Use code French. Um, all that'll be in the description. Uh, Amazon links to whatever I use in my truck is down there. And um, that's going to be it. I'm out. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys.